Hello everyone, welcome back to this channel. I'm Ella and in this video we are going to see how we can add light to our stairs. If you know how you can create nosing and how you can use baluster, you can just continue watching this. But if you don't, I suggest you to go watch these two videos which is essential for this tutorial because we're not going to talk about nosing and polysters in this video. So let's just start. As you can see, this is a very simple monolithic stair that I have created and I have add thread, razor and this little nosing here. This is a very simple nosing and if you go to its family, it's something like this. And if you don't want this, you can create any type of nosing that you want and use to add lighting to your stairs. It depends on your design and the type of LED light that you want to add. We're going to use this and add a very simple LED lighting. So first go to a file and create a new family in Baluster. Set your unit. As it is obvious, this family is used for creating Baluster for railings. But since we don't have any option to add lighting or other things to our stairs, we need to be creative and we are going to use this method. If you want to create baluster, you should model it in this place and these two lines here show the height of your railing and probably this line should be our thread. So if we want to add lighting to our stair, we need to create our lighting in this area. Go to create and click on extrusion. Set your work plan on left because we are in left view. Okay and draw a circle in this part somewhere here save your baluster and load it to your project for adding light to your stair you need to go to railing and select place on a stair then select your stair let's hide this one now select your railing and go to edit type duplicate okay go to baluster placement and for baluster family, select stair lighting that we had created. Check this box to control your baluster or your light to have only one baluster per thread. And you need to select your baluster from here as well. And our baluster is here. Go to left view and move it to somewhere here. Let's load it and check section let's move it a bit to this part and load it again and our lighting is in its place perfect now go to working plan and put your visual style on wireframe in here you can see our baluster and because we have two railings we have another one in this part so if you want to have railing and light on your stair together you can keep one of them as lighting and change another one and use it as railing in this case you need to change the length of your lighting and extend it to reach the other side first you need to know the length of your thread or stair you can either check its dimension from edit type and in this part or you can just go to annotation and measure it yourself from here to here we have 106 so go to your family and in 3d view change your extrusion end to this number you can also divide it between these two let's see how this will look like and all right for sure now we have overlap select one of your railings and go to edit type and duplicate let's keep it like this go to baluster placement and change your baluster family to let's go with this one and change this one to okay now we have only one baluster now that we have our railing and our lighting in this part, we don't need these two balusters, actually posts, and this handrail here. But if you go to edit type and deactivate this top rail, this uncheck this box, 
you will see this error here to fix this you just need to active this landing height adjustment this is a trick that you can use to delete your top rail and also if you want to delete these two posts here go to bolster placement and in post section change your bolster family in start post corner post and end post and put them on none okay now with this you have your railings here and also you have your lightings in this part if you go to front view you will see them here now it's time for material go to your family and select your lighting and in properties change your material to let's create another one let's call it light in this part you can either create your material from scratch you can change its color and self illumination you can change its lighting like whatever you want or use one of the lightings that are already in here if you scroll down a little bit you will see these two bulbs here or you can select them in this part there are different types of lights that you can find here let's go with this one and in this part you can change its color reflection and emission you can change its luminance and if you want you can add filter color let's make it a bit warm and load it to our project now let's see how it will look like in Inkscape. here if you want to make your scene darker you just need to press shift and i and as you can see this is not perfect and we need to work a lot on our lighting material and everything but it's working So yes, that's it. I hope it was useful for you and you enjoyed watching this tutorial. If there is anything you want me to create tutorials for, just leave them in comment section below and I will see you in the next video.